Hello, my name is Laís, I'm a software engineer in the WebView team in London, and I'm here to talk about our Android X library, Android X WebKit. So, what is it? Android X WebKit is a library in Jetpack. Jetpack is a suite of libraries, tools, and guidance to help developers write high-quality apps easier. Android X libraries are independent from the platform APIs. This means that they are updated more frequently. They also offer backwards compatibility. In our case, APIs work back all the way to L plus devices. That seems great, but why should you care? WebView has dozens of APIs introduced after Lollipop. By using our Android X library, you can use all these APIs and target older devices as well. Let's say you want to use an API from SDK 28, which is Android Pie. If using the Framework API, you only target roughly 10% of devices. If using the Android X WebKit API, you target almost 90% of devices. You can check out the full documentation on how to use Android X or how to migrate an existing project to Android X in Jetpack's Android X Overview, linked here. For WebKit specifically, you want to add this line in your app's build.gradle file. Our current stable release is 1.0.0, and our current release candidate is 1.1.0 RC01. No matter what kind of method you're swapping, first replace the version check for a feature check. To swap static methods, simply replace WebView with WebView Compat, and you're done. To swap out non-static methods, replace your WebView object with WebView Compat, then pass your WebView object as the first parameter. That's it. Let's talk about some of our most recent APIs. Dark mode. We are introducing new APIs to control dark mode in your web views. There are three modes. Off, which means your content will never be dark. On, which means your content will always be dark. And auto, which means it's going to follow system settings. This allows app developers to choose if the content should be light or dark. This snippet shows you how to query current first dark settings or change it. Remember to guard these calls with a feature check. It's as simple as calling get first dark, passing in the WebView settings, or calling set first dark, passing the WebView settings and the setting you want. Improving on the framework APIs, we are adding new methods for developers to choose how the content will be darkened. There are three strategies to choose from. User agent only. Content will be darkened by a user agent, and the page's dark theme will be ignored if it exists. Web theme only. Content will be darkened by the dark theme provided by the page. If the page doesn't have one, content will be rendered with a default theme. Prefer web theme over user agent. Content will be darkened by the dark theme provided by the page. Or if the page doesn't have one, content will be darkened by a user agent. This snippet shows you how to get or set the first dark strategy with the three options we discussed before. Here are some examples of what a web view looks like with dark mode off or on. Proxy controller APIs allow you to override Android proxy settings for all the web views in your app. You can set multiple proxy and bypass rules and also specify whether these apply to HTTP, HTTPS, or both. This snippet shows you how to use proxy controller. First, get an instance to the proxy controller. Then, create a proxy config object. You can add as many proxy rules or bypass rules as you need. Note that the order of the rules matter. When loading an URL, the first proxy rule that matches that URL will be used. If any URLs match a bypass rule, then it will be loaded directly instead. In case you want to clear these settings, just call clear proxy override. It's important to note that both these methods are asynchronous, so you might want to pass in a listener to know exactly when the settings were applied. Asset Loader is a helper class to load local assets, resources, or files. This doesn't have any Chromium dependency, which means, unlike other APIs discussed here, you don't have to guard these calls with a feature check. Asset Loader allows you to securely integrate local content in your app with web content. Always use a domain you have full control over or the default domain reserved for this. This snippet shows how to load an asset. First, create an asset loader. Then, override should intercept request in your WebView client and call into asset loaders should intercept request. Then, load an asset concatenating the domain, in this example, the default one, and its path. What else is coming into 1.1.0? Tracing controller, that helps collect tracing information for debugging, and render process, that enables you to control WebView's render process starting in Android O. Thank you for listening. Stay tuned for more stuff coming into Android X WebKit. Check out our documentation on Android developers. And if you have any questions, reach out to android-webview-dev at chromium.org.